Hey guys, I'm speaking with Valerie Guignon. Um, she is a fiber artist that has been on the scene for a while. Everybody knows her work. Everybody should know her work in Dallas. And she's going to be showing with, with us at the Urban Artist Market May 10th and 11th. Yes. Today it's show and tell. And she's going to show us some stuff that she brought. That, oh, yeah. The type of work she'll be selling. Yeah. Well, you know, I've known for my clothing, my wearable art. And I'm, I'm gifted with boxes and bags of scraps. See, these are my scraps, and, and they're all little tiny pieces. And, and they're hand-dyed. And, and they're, to me, they, each one is a brush stroke. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to paint with them. Cool. So <clears throat> taking an existing painting and adding the silk scraps. That's beautiful. And some tesserae. Yeah, <laughs> and it's cool how this magnifies the strokes underneath, the marks, the hand marks. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really Hashtag. cool. I, I did some drawing on it. You know, first I painted it acrylic, then I drew it, then I added the scraps. You can see it's three-dimensional, yeah. and it That's has nice. a, a three-dimensional quality to it. So there'll be some small pieces like that. Pieces. With, and her wearables also. And my wearables. Here's another one that was a painting I've had for years, and I just never liked it. You know how that goes if you're an artist. And... Uh, I again added the silk scraps to it, and so it has this dimensional quality when you look at it, you know, from all the different angles. That's beautiful. So there'll be that one, and then this was a painting that actually a friend of mine did many years ago, and something happened to it, and it got messed up. Do they know you repurposed it? She has deceased. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and it was a spiral, and I love the spiral aspect. I love the colors. Uh, mm -hmm. Just couldn't stand to let it go. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I'm painting silk, sticking silk scraps on everything, I used, I've decided to use it and turn it into, let's see, which one is top? This is the top. Turn it into... But it's so success, it's such a successful abstract, anything, you know? Yeah. Someone told me once, if it's a good abstract, it looks good from any angle, and this one does. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, this is my latest, and I'm very proud of it. I like that one. And then I've been playing around with a sculptor, as well as a fiber artist. And I've been playing around with a new material that stiffens fabric to the point where it you can sculpt with it. It almost crinkles. It almost it's like leaves. So this is hand-dyed silk, cool. and it's now become a three-dimensional object, which is another possibility. Who knows? Yeah. I'm very yeah. excited about that. Let me move that in a little closer so they can really get an idea of the texture and everything. Isn't it cool? Ooh, look, we're in the background of it. <laughs> we can see through. Look at our eye. There we go. Oh, There's an eye. eye. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie and I showed together um, last fall. And, well, we showed together at the Urban Artist Market. Yeah. And we both did well at that one. And then we showed together at the bathhouse in the same room. And so we got to be buddies there. During slow times, we would um, dance to the disco. We did. We dance so, around. In the aisles. When, when you all are not at the show, we're out in the aisles we're in the dancing. We're dancing, so... Um, we it off. But we're looking forward to it. It's May 10th and 11th. Mm -hmm. It's our spring sale in Addison. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Miller is doing the marketing and organizing it again. He's fabulous at this. And um, um, so, yeah, come see us, right? Come see what we can come up with next. Come see us, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to cycle through some images of her work here at the end so you can see some more of her stuff. So, anyway, we'll see you guys in May in Addison. All right. Thanks, yeah. Valerie. Sure.